KSI refuses to consider downgrades Joe Sugg or Jack Maynard for boxing match after Logan Paul. Exclusive. Let's talk about this, shall we? <laughs> now, I wasn't going to do a video about this, but then I saw the views that people get when they mention anything to do with boxing, KSI or Logan Paul. And you know what? I've never done it before. I've never really used anyone else to help make a video <laughs> saying that. So there's an article that came out on uh, last Thursday. It's about, obviously, JJ got interviewed and he sa it says, I'll, re I'll just read it to you. KSI has called fellow British YouTuber Joe Sugg a downgrade and refuses to consider him or Jack Maynard <laughs> as potential opponents after his boxing match with Logan Paul. The internet star is prepping for his highly anticipated bout with vlogger Logan Paul next month, but is already making plans for the future. However, none of these plans include his fellow of vloggers. Well, we already know JJ's future plans after the fight, and that's an after party. Further than that, I don't know. Speaking to the Metro uh, at the press conference on Wednesday, KSI revealed that he has eyes set on former England footballer Rio Ferdinand, but pretty much laughed off the suggestion that Joe, younger brother of vlogging legend Zoella, why is it every time? I don't know if there ever be a time where they won't bring up me and my sister in the same article. Fair enough, you know, I'm not I'm not salty about it at all. I don't actually mind, I don't care. I promise I don't care. I love how they call uh, Logan Paul as a vlogger, but they call my sister a vlogging legend. What makes you get legendary status in vlogging? Because Logan Paul is, I think without doubt, one of the biggest vloggers in the world. Or was. Does he still upload nowadays? I don't know, I haven't checked in a while. The younger brother of vlogging legend Zoella uh, would be able to make a worthy match in the boxing ring. That's a great picture of me though, to be fair. I'm very happy with that picture. Not sure about the orange though. It wouldn't make sense to be downgrade, he said laughing. Come on, what's the point? Come on. The reason why I feel like I've got to make a video about this is, firstly, first of all, don't worry, I'm fine. I'm not offended in any way, shape or form, and I'll explain why in a little bit. But the reason I wanted to bring this to your attention is because <laughs> going through my Twitter and my Instagram for the last week, pretty much, yeah, so it's a week since this article came out, it keeps popping up in my like tagged pictures of people that have screenshotted this article and getting really, really angry at JJ. Honestly, I love the fact that a lot of you are defending me um, and sort of sticking up for me. I don't, don't get me wrong, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. But uh, I think I need to set the record straight in the fact that JJ is one of my best friends on this platform and I'm pretty sure he likes me too. So don't, <laughs> so don't worry, okay? Basically, what, like, if you, you have to put yourself in this situation, and I'm thinking from JJ's thoughts here. Basically, right, if you are JJ, you've just beaten Joe Weller, you're about to fight Logan Paul, who is arguably the biggest internet personality in America, right? America's a lot bigger than the UK, right? It's a bigger landmass. I feel like as well, social media out in America is a lot more advanced. It's like two years in front of the UK, I think. That's how I see it anyway. There's a lot lot further along the scale of it being accepted. Over in the UK, um, people that are in social media are still a bit sort of like, what, I don't get it. Wait, wait, so like, what do you do? How do you make money from it? This kind of thing. Whereas America, it's a lot more praise and it's a lot more of a norm, right? I don't know why I went off on a random tangent then, but Logan Paul is obviously the creme de la creme, uh, if you will, of America. And JJ is without doubt the creme de, creme de la creme YouTuber in the UK. I found it sounds weird saying that over again. Creme de la creme. So in saying that, it's basically the biggest YouTuber in the UK versus the biggest YouTuber in America. And let's say JJ beats Logan Paul. In my eyes, there is no one else past that in the YouTube world that wouldn't be seen as a downgrade. Even if, I don't know, PewDiePie, who is the biggest YouTuber in the world with the amount of subscribers he's got. Even if JJ boxed him, I still don't think, no disrespect to PewDiePie at all, I still don't think it would be as a bigger thing as this fight is going to be. But let's be real, PewDiePie hasn't got any intention of going to boxing anytime soon, so it wouldn't be a match. Whereas with KSI and Logan, it's there's no obvious answer to who will win. As much as I want KSI to win, as much as I believe KSI will win, it's one of those things you, you will not know until that first bell goes, how close it's going to be. I think realistically after this, technically anyone in the YouTube world would be a downgrade. And even so, I think Jack Maynard will probably last longer in the ring than I would against JJ. I'm not going to lie, I'm, I'm uh, like a stick compared to JJ. I think JJ could flick me and I would snap in half. Especially now, I'm feeling quite afraid at the moment, I've been ill. When we suggested the two vloggers, he laughed. You want me to fight Jack Maynard and Joe Sugg. At the same time, maybe we stand a chance, you know? Maybe that's the next step. The next step after boxing one person on their own is to box two people on their own. Maybe the next fight could be me and my sister versus JJ in the ring. We still get demolished. <laughs>
But it seems KSI does think one YouTuber in particular, an American one, mind you, would cut it. The 25 year revealed that after his fight with Logan, he wants to take on his younger brother, Jake Paul, who is on the, on the undercard with KSI's brother, Deji. Now that would also probably make sense, I guess. That would, that would make sense. It's like the Klitschko brothers, you know? You beat one, you want to beat the other one. But yeah, I just thought I'd make this video to explain, obviously, as much as I lo love and appreciate the fact that a lot of you stuck up for me thinking that, you know, JJ was being, uh, some of the, let me read out some of the, tw some of the people posting pics of it being like, this is not okay. He could actually piss off. He is not going anywhere near our Joe. I don't want him to fight. A lot of people saying like he can't talk about me in that way and people used to like him but now they don't like him because of that one article. Don't worry, okay? <laughs> I can tell you right now, me and JJ are really good friends. We, we have been since since we've known each other. The thing is with articles is that they can twist your words slightly. It's like essentially like clickbaiting, right, on YouTube is like articles will take a story and slightly twist it just to make it sound a little bit better and make you want to then click on it more and read the story. Although maybe a lot of you um, have your own opinions on um, KSI or JJ, I can tell you now, I know him on a personal level and he is without doubt one of the nicest guys I've met through my whole YouTube journey. And realistically, in my eyes, the article makes sense. Technically, anyone after Logan Paul would be seen as a downgrade, even if he fights Jake Paul, that's then technically seen as a downgrade. There's not going to be a fight between two YouTubers that is going to be bigger than this fight, essentially. In saying that, where does it end? We're going to go back to Coliseum days, like a full circle. So they end up with YouTubers, like a team of two YouTubers in a Coliseum fighting to the death. Or like one of those like um, Western style shootouts, you know, when you like take five steps and turn around and shoot each other. It's going to turn to that, I swear. I'm telling you now, I'm predicting the future right now. It's going to turn to that. August 25th is when the fight is. Uh, it's in Manchester. I think there's still tickets available, so I'll leave a link in the description if you want to come along and watch it. If you're in the area or want to make the travel over, I'll be there. So I'll, if you see me, come over and say hello. I promise I'll be sober. So in a nutshell, what have we learned from this video? Don't take things to heart. Like this, I don't think this article is meant to be a dig at me at all. I think it's... It just, it just makes sense. Anyone after Logan would be considered a downgrade. I'm not offended by it. When I first saw it, and when, I, when people were showing it to me, uh, everyone was like, are you all right? Are you okay? I was like, well, yeah, of course I am. How is that going to affect affect me at all? I know that he wouldn't have said it with malice or with like trying to offend me or anything at all. Don't worry, I'm fine. Well, I'm not, I've got tonsillitis, but other than that, I'm fine. Anyway, I'm going to end the video there. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a bit of a different vlog, this one. Just a chatty one. Other than that, I will see you maybe tomorrow with another vlog. In the meantime, have a nice day. Enjoy the sun. It's really nice. It's like the hottest day of the year today. Go out and enjoy it. Bye.